Hi, my name is Christy Jordan and I'm the elementary art teacher here at Monarch Global Academy. And today I'm gonna to show you a really cool, super easy art project that can be done at home. Nine times out of 10, you'll have all of the materials at home. You'll need flour, baking powder, salt, food coloring, measuring cups, water, and cardboard. So right here we have a half a cup of flour. Then I'm gonna take two teaspoons of baking powder and just put that in there. Then I'm gonna take two teaspoons of salt. And those are all the dry ingredients. After you mix all of that together, you're gonna gradually add in water. I'm gonna add enough water to make it almost like a pancake mix. And then taking a brush or whatever you like, you're gonna just mix it and just gradually add water as you need. The next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna pour your mixture into separate cups so that you can make different colors with them. So I'm gonna start with three cups. I'm just gonna pour these in here. Now if you would also um, like you can use empty squeezable bottles to make it a little bit easier to pour onto your cardboard. But for today, we're gonna put them in cups, just like that. And then you're gonna use your food coloring to mix into these cups to make your different colors. So, and you can mix your colors together. This pack right here does not have orange, but if I wanted orange, I can mix a little bit of red and yellow. If I want purple, I can mix a little bit of blue and red. I'm just gonna add about two to three drops of red food coloring. Mix that together. It's gonna give you a nice vibrant red mixture. After you have mixed all of your colors together, you're then gonna take your cardboard and it's a lot easier if you go ahead and draw your image on there first. So right here, I drew something very simple. I did hearts and then I had some lines coming out. This is where I'm going to apply my mixture. So now I'm gonna take my mixture and I'm just gonna apply it right here on the cardboard. Um, again, if you have a squeezy bottle, this might be a little easier too. So you can just pour it on here and make sure it stays within the space. You wanna make sure that there is a good amount on here. You don't wanna be able to see the cardboard through it. That way you get an even color when you bake it. When you're getting around the edges of your cardboard, you might want to put something underneath just so that you don't get any food coloring stains on your table. You can put a mat under here, you can put a paper plate, anything to just really protect the surface you're working on. All right, now that we have all of our paint on the cardboard, you want to put it on a flat microwave safe surface. As you can see, I have mine on a plate. I'm then going to take this, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time. Depending on how much paint you put on there, you might have to add a few more seconds. And when it's all done, you have a puffy painted artwork and a happy child.